Hi there, welcome to High School Maths. Today we are going to be looking at how you find the missing side on a cube or a cuboid when you're given the volume of the shape. This is a skill you can take forward into other shapes and we're going to have a look at a few strategies here to see which one is best for you. We're going to start off with the method that is most useful for other shapes later on. Then we'll have a look at another method which isn't so helpful later on but can still be used just now. So method one would be we know that we're dealing with volume. What we can do is it's a cuboid, so the volume is the length times the breadth times the height, and we know that formula. And it's exactly the same as we do if we were looking for the volume of the shape. Now we know the volume of the shape here is 9,000 cubic centimetres. What we're going to do at this stage is the same as we would normally do. We put in all the numbers that we have from the diagram and the information. This, the thing that's different is we know the volume is 9,000, so on this right, uh, sorry, left-hand side, we have V is 9,000, so we replace the V with 9,000, and we get 9,000 equals the length, which is 30, times the breadth, which is 15, times the H for height. Now, at this stage, what we have is an equation. And what we can do is simplify it and try and solve it. So 9,000 equals, if you type in 30 times 15 into your calculator, you'll get 450 times h, or 450 h. Now, you'll have covered simple equations like that. And what we're going to do to solve this is we're going to divide both sides for, by 450 to find out what h equals. So we're dividing here by 450 to find h. And that should give you 20 when you type that into the calculator. You can flip that around at the end so it's h equals 20 rather than 20 equals h, and that's your final answer. Now method two is probably a little bit easier to follow but not so useful for later on when you're dealing with more complicated formulas and more complicated shapes. What we know is that the volume is the length times the breadth times the height. So we're starting off the same way. It's 30 times 15 times h. Now, if we multiply 30 by 15, we get this. So you can see how similar this is. We're thinking 450 times what would give you 9,000. 450 times h must equal 9,000. So 450 times h, that must equal 9,000. Now at this stage, what you're doing, and it's the exact same idea as we had before, you're doing 450 times this blank equals 9,000. You want to see how many 450s fit into 9,000, so we're just dividing by 450 again. So 450 divided by 9,000, sorry, 9,000 divided by 450 would give us 20. Okay, so it's a really, really similar method, but the layout is slightly different. It's up to you which one you prefer. You're doing the same basic idea. You're trying to figure out what this missing side is so that when you multiply all three sides together, it gives you 9,000 cubic centimetres as the volume. And the, the way you're going to do that is going to be very similar each time, but there's different, slightly different ways to lay out the working. Method one would be my preferred method, but if you prefer method two where you're laying the working out a little bit more separate and that works for you just now, that's fine as well. Hopefully you found it useful for our maths videos and resources. Please visit highschoolmaths.co.uk. If you liked the video, click the like button and subscribe. And please remember to share the video. Thanks for watching and have a mathematical day.